Alright everybody, we're about to do a Halloween special video of a heroic run of Skullomance because they revamped it back in uh, Missa Pandaria. The original dungeon was done in vanilla and was one of the hardest dungeons to do during vanilla. It's one of the last dungeons you would come into um, during vanilla. So, the lore behind Skullomance. I'm going to do my best in following up the lore here, but before we walk in, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Used to just have a key to get into the door here. What I used to do, because I didn't have a key, and my friends needed to get in to do like the Pally Mount run or whatever, when he's getting his Paladin Mount. Um, I would come here as a Warlock, and life tap myself down to no health, and then Hellfire myself to death, run back as a Ghost, walk through the door, then pull this little torch lever to open the door back up so they could get in. Alright, so let's enter the dungeon here, and we'll go over some of the lore real quick of Skullamance. Skullamance was founded by the rogue wizard Kel'Thuzad nearly, you know, ten years ago in Old Ward Standards near Vanilla. Um, his cult of the damned renovated the ancient crypts beneath the Ser Darrow, which is the island that it's on, and it's in the middle of Daramir Lake. <clears throat> it's an old, or, or let me see if I can pronounce this right, Arathorian fortress, fortress, and he turned it into a school for necromancy. The cult used this place to train its mortal agents and prepare to unleash the, the plague of undeath upon Lordaeron. It has been brewing with young, talented wizards and adepts all this time. No one in Lordaeron knew. Originally, the, the Barrow family of Alterac owned the land and gave it to the cult in exchange for the Lich King's blessing of immortality. Now, the Barrow's remain as undead monsters. One of Colt, uh, Kel'Thuzad's mightiest agents, the Ravinian, also lives within the, re the recesses of the school ever ready to devour those students who show any sign of weakness. The Lich Ras Frost Whisper rules over the site and guards it for the Scourge, but the mortal necromancer Dark Master Ganling serves as the headmaster of the school, succeeding Areg, the summoner who was headmaster after Kel'Thuzad. So it's kind of like a more wicked evil version of Hogwarts, in other words. All right, I'm going to read some more here from, uh, so we got the Skull of Mounts has within the series of crypts that lie beneath the ruined keep of Ciardero. Once owned by the noble Barrow family, Ciardero fell into the ruin, fell into ruin following the Second War. As the wizard Kel'Thuzad enlisted followers for his cult of the damned, he would often promise immortality in exchange for serving the Lich King. The Bear family fell to Kel'Thuzad's charismatic influence and donated the keep and its crypts to the scourge. The cultists then killed the Barovs and turned the ancient crypts into a school for necromancy known as the Skolomance. Though Kel'Thuzad no longer resides in the crypts, devoted cultists and instructors still remain. The powerful lich Ras Frost Whisper rules over the site and guards it in the scourge's name. While, like I said, the mortal necromancer Dark Master Gandling serves as the school's insidious headmaster. This used to be a tough um, regular dungeon to run back in Burning Crusade, pre-BC, and um, vanilla. You still needed a five-man group almost to run it during Burning Crusade. It was still a rough run. Um, this one is actually revamped for MOP. It's the heroic version of Skolomance. Um It's a fun dungeon. I mean, it's just so much lore behind it. As you know, like the Barra family... You, ha you pick up Alexa Barov as one of your followers from the Lumber Mill. <clears throat> if you have Lumber Mill in your, uh, in your garrison, you'd get Alexa Barov. He's part of the Barov family. And I believe there was more Barov family stuff in Darkshire and uh, Duskwood for the Alliance quest. So there's a lot of link there. Um, you know, Lordaeron 
was a big area for the humans. I mean, um, when the scourge came in and invaded, it was just insane. I mean, because you know, the Lich King Prince Prince he was Prince Arthas Minethil, and he was the you know the he was he was next in line to be king of uh, Lordaeron um, until he, you know he became the Lich King. And then the Forsaken moved in and took over Lordaeron and turned it into the ruins of Lordaeron and Undercity. Uh, the first boss here is a Lich Instructor Chillheart. I guess we'll call her or him Professor Snape. <laughs> Just kidding. All Liches have a phylactery here. She's draining off of. Now, to totally kill a lich, you have to destroy their phylactery. We've never destroyed Kel'Thuzad's phylactery. Never. So, there's a good chance he may come back. Which, I would love to see him be resurrected and come back. I mean, he was in Vanilla. He was in, um, you know, in Naxxramas then. And then they put him in Naxxramas in Wrath of the Lich King. Which was pretty cool. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him make a comeback. It's kind of like the uh, the whole thing with killing demons in the nether. The only way they, they fully die is if you kill them in the nether. So just remember that. That's uh, just some lore, some good lore for you there. To, to totally destroy a lich, you have to kill their phylactery. So if you look at it that way, Kel'Thuzad's still around. He's just waiting to make his comeback. And I actually wouldn't mind seeing another um, expansion kind of like that. Maybe Wrath of the Lich Queen where it's uh, has to do with Sylvanas becoming the Lich King or the Lich Queen. Or Forgering, you know, Four Dragon becoming the Lich King as he already is. Um, see if we can kind of expedite this fight. Nope, no luck. There she is, right there. Let's put a Curse of Doom on her. She drops down again. Let's pop out our Hellfire. I want to say this is her right here. She's dying so slow. All right, that's the first. That's the second boss, Janice, Jandis Barov, part of the Barov family. I was ta talking about. Did not mean to do that. The next boss here is Rattlegore. So he's not, he's not too hard of a boss. Um, you have these uh, bone piles here that you pick up to get bone armor, to because uh, he throws out a pretty devastating blow to begin with. That'll. Uh, ooh, I need to take burning rush off before I die, or it takes me down really low health. Um, it still does some decent damage. There's Dark Master Gandling, the headmaster of the school. It's a necromancer. I wish they would bring in necromancers. Lillian Voss is chasing him around. So we'll get the next boss here, Rattlegore, to pop up. Take him down real fast. So this is a fun dungeon to run. If you've never run it, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so much backstory to it. Wow, you could probably make... This would be an easy run to make a lot of gold. Switch over back out of Metamorphosis here. These mobs used to be a pain in the butt. So, such a pain. I mean, you had to use your CC wisely in this because these flesh horrors didn't die easy. You had to kill a lot of, of the ads around them to take them down. Let's 
so let's get through this and we'll go to the next boss see I'm kind of breezing through this and I've been to this dungeon several times I did a lot during uh, the Burning Crusade help friends with their uh, Paladin Mount Quest which you don't have to do anymore so the next boss here is actually Lillian Voss he turns her the key here is just try to kill her as quick as possible so she don't go into the <clears throat> the second phase where she releases her spirit and she is down she jumps into the necromancer there dark master gandling took down his bone shield she's dead now it's over she asks us to leave her so she can die alone this is where the chest is for the loot off of the boss fight over behind this grate so now we head to the final boss dark master gandling and you come through this the viewing room as they call it probably could have skipped all this really I don't know why I ran through there take out Professor Slate here real quick he's kinda like a mini boss more, more or less a rip off of Prof Professor Putricide going down here to Headmaster's Retreat Dark Master Gandling. Let's go ahead and take him down real quick. So he doesn't teleport us into one of the rooms. Alright, he is down. Free 45 gold for that heroic. What he would originally do is he would teleport you into these rooms and you would fight your way back out um, if you're in a five man group um, not too hard of a, of a dungeon to run like I said I just did on heroic and it's a uh, MOP revamped heroic originally it was in vanilla it was a pretty easy run to do through MOP during vanilla it was really really tough burning crusade it was still kind of tough you still needed a decent five man group no matter if you were level 65 and over um, but like I said I love this dungeon it's a good Halloween-esque feel it's kinda like uh, it's World of Warcraft Hogwarts Headmaster Gandling is just like uh, you would have Dumbledore or whatever um, like I said you know if you enjoy my videos please like subscribe and comment on them maybe comment on something you'd like to see me attempt do um, and also go and follow me on Twitter at Sickness Gaming, S I K N E S S Gaming. Like my Facebook page, Sickness Gaming, same spelling, but it's a space in there instead of one word. Um, and also stay tuned, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll catch all the tweets I put out when I upload videos or whatnot, so you know when I put a new video up. I also will tweet out achievements or mounts that I pick up if I'm not doing a video at the time. Um, that's about it folks and I uh, just want to tell everybody thanks for the support thanks for watching and have a happy Halloween